In this lesson, we are going to start from the basics. So I'm going to introduce to you the basic retouching tools, such as healing brush tool and clone stamp tool that we use not only for product retouching, but any other type of retouching. But what's really important here is how we are going to work. So we want to work in the non-destructive way and to work in the non-destructive way, we cannot work on this actual layer. So as we open the image in Photoshop, we only have the background layer. We don't want to work on this because we have no escape when we do some sort of mistake. So if I do mistake on this actual layer, I need to remove this. I cannot do it. I only can do the steps back. So to work non-destructively, we need to work on the new empty layer. To create this, uh, you can just hit this small icon on the bottom that says create new layer, then create. Once it's created, I like to rename this into clean. And then moving to our tools, as I said, we have a healing brush tool and clone stamp tool. When we look at them, uh, generally, uh, of course, we have also spot healing brush tool that is uh, very similar. It's a little easier to use. We have also a patch tool, but the problem with the patch tool is patch tool doesn't allow you to work on this empty layer, but you will see this a little bit later. So I'm going to start with the healing brush tool and to be able to retouch on this empty layer, first thing we need to do, we need to change this sample over here. So at this moment, uh, we have sample current below, which is okay, but quite often by default, we will have current layer. So if, if you didn't change anything in Photoshop and you have current layer over here, you won't be able to retouch. So what you want to do, you want to set current below. So when we are going to work on this empty layer, we'll be working on this one and everything below. So we'll be affecting all of the image. And the same thing if we would work with the clone stamp. Also, we want to have the same sample as the current below. As I mentioned to you, we can use spot healing brush tool and healing brush tool. And when it comes to the patch tool, as you can see, it's impossible uh, to work on the empty layer. This is why I will not be focusing on the patch tool. To work on the patch tool, we would have to work on this layer, which would be destructive, or duplicate this layer by pressing Command or Control and J, and then we could use it. So quickly, I'm going to show you how does it works. You can circle uh, the spot that you want to remove and then blend it with the other spot that is quite clear. And as you can see, um, this tool works absolutely perfect for this sort of tasks. For this, uh, we won't be using this. I'm going to focus uh, with the healing brush tool. So how does healing brush tool and spot healing brush tool works and how does it compare to the clone stamp? First of all, uh, we can choose J on the keyboard if we want to quickly move to healing brush tool. How I like to work with this is always to work with the 100% hardness. Um, when it comes to the hidden brush tool, uh, when we work with soft edged brush, we might blur out the texture and we always need to remember that texture is really important. So how, how does it work? Uh, let me show you. Um, getting to start with this big spot, uh, we can press out or option next to this spot and cover it just like this. And as you can see, it will be covered, but let me tell you what happened here. So when we press outer option on some other spot, uh, we get the texture of this area. And then when we move to the other area, the color is adjusted automatically. So that's what, why you can see uh, when I move to other spot, as you can see, I'm not copying the color from here, but the color is adjusted to the color existing here and the texture is uh, brought from here. It works especially way, well when we work with the tiny spots and we need to preserve the texture like the ones here. And we also need to keep the color uh, original to the surrounding area. So the color will be adjusted automatically. And as you can see, it goes pretty fast and well. So um, when it comes to the spot healing brush tool, 
uh, the difference is uh, the mechanism and the engine behind this is exactly the same so the color uh, will be adjusted to the surrounding area but we don't have to take the sample of the texture because this time the texture also will be adjusted to the surrounding area so it's a little bit easier to use a little bit faster but not always as precise uh, these two tools, um, they compare to the clone stamp, uh, but they work uh, slightly different. So the clone stamp uh, not only copy the texture from the um, from the surrounding area, but we also precisely copy the color. So to compare, if I press out or option of over here and try to apply it here, as you can see, the color is applied from here and the texture is applied from here so it's a little bit more intense than um, helium brush tool i believe we could uh, say like this uh, but what's really important for me is um, that i work differently so when you look at the clone stamp i keep the hardness at zero and the reason for this it's uh, really great uh, when it comes to working close to the edge so if i need to do something close to the edge uh, because i copy the color it's not adjusted to the other colors and uh, when i like working to the on the edges on some hair maybe i need to have smooth transitions this is the reason why i keep the soft edged brush here and the hard edged brush uh, when it comes to healing brush tool you can compare the edges on some new project i quickly going to do this so let's say if we work with soft edged brush this is how it looks as you can see smooth edges when we work with the hard edged brush this is how it looks so smooth edges versus hard edges if i want to be focused on the texture uh, i will use hard edged brush and usually um, then i work with healing brush tool if i want to adjust the things close to the edges i will use um, clone stamp tool with soft edged brush so as we know how it works now i already did a little bit of work over here we need to make sure that we check the background because background quite often might have some dirt on this if it's okay uh, we are ready to retouch so for this image i want to retouch all of these tiny spots over here so when it comes to these small spots what i will be doing i will be retouching this with healing brush tool and as you can see as i work with the tablet which is absolutely needed when you think of professional retouching and i always say this in all of my courses if you want to be professional retoucher you need to invest in the basic uh, graphic tablet i use wacom tablet um, basic uh, version small size uh, the price less than hundred dollars i believe it's around 70 so I work with the basic one. Many people would ask professional or basic. I say basic is enough for retouching. So when I need to speed up a little bit, remove this ugly parts, I switch to clone stamp and quickly doing these moves. It will not work on everything. It might destroy the texture. So I'm being careful here. Don't want to destroy the texture too much, but as you can see, it, it does great job when removing these weird spots. I could uh, change it to harder brush maybe if it um, destroy the texture too much. And once those major things are done, I will focus on these tiny spots. So what I'm going to do uh, to not waste your time uh, I will show you a few more moves. This is how I retouch. And I switch on the keyboard J for the healing brush tool and S for the clone stamp. So sometimes you can see the different effect. It's because I'm switching quickly on the keyboard. I also use uh, shortcuts for everything. So to zoom in, zoom out, I press Z and move on my tablet. Uh, all of the shortcuts are on Adobe website. Sometimes you can change them as well. And when you start, it's hard to get used to them. But over time, of course, um, 
it will get better. So long work uh, ahead of us uh, because I'm going to clean these tiny spots with the basic retouching tools. It might take a few minutes. So I'm not going to bore you with this. Uh, you see how I'm uh, going to work. So now let's move to the next lesson and talk about the next thing.